Ahoy all of you flick freaks out there, what is going on? My name is Andrew and today we have an unboxing and a review video for you today. I found this really interesting app on my phone that I decided to try out. What it is, it's an app called Mix Tiles. And what it is, you can take the pictures from your phone, upload them into this app, and what they will do is they will actually download them, print them out onto this interesting pressed out 8x8 poster that you can hang up on your wall. And it's not with a hammer and a nail. It actually has adhesive on the back of the posters apparently to where you can take it off, move it around, switch them up wherever you like around your house. So what I did is I went online, found nine pictures. I think the pricing for each one ended up being around $11.45. So what I did is I got nine pictures that I thought were really cool. Pictures of comic book characters, video game characters, movie characters, book characters. Put them all onto these posters. Each poster, or each picture that I chose was 1080 by 1080 because they're square portraits. I decided to get square pictures, obviously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over there, we're gonna take a look at the box, see how everything looks inside, and then we can decide whether or not it is worth the purchase. So here we go. I found an area in my apartment which I think is a pretty good area for at least a test area to try out to see if these posters are worth it or not. As you can see there are nine tiles within the blue painter's tape there, two inches thick. To try out are nine different portraits. It might just be a cool area to hang the posters or it could just be a test area to see if the posters actually do look good. Now that you've seen the area, let's take a look at the box and see what's inside. Okay, so let's see what we have inside the box. It's very well packaged like that. No damage I can see from shipping or anything like that. And the moment of truth. Safety. Acting paper. A piece of paper that has uh, all the uh, pictures that I've chosen, and they each come in these little packets here. Oh, I guess they normally put four in a package, and since I got nine, there was just an extra one there. Okay, so how well did these turn out? Because they were pretty high-res photos that I chose from the internet. They came out uh, pretty decent, I think. I'm just gonna take a quick look at these here, make sure. For, uh, I know it, I didn't wanna get myself too hyped to think that it would be the same quality as like what you would expect. I'll show you the, I'll bring it, I'll bring it, uh, them all around so you can see them. I'll unpack them all and then show you. They were packaged very securely, which I do appreciate. In between each poster is this little sheet of paper to keep it from rubbing up against the poster beneath it, which I do appreciate. It's stellarly packaged. I gotta give them props for that. And I do believe that Mixed Tiles has free shipping. So that's something else to keep in mind. Uh, yeah. It's not like, Perfection definitely could be a little bit better on some of these, but it is definitely a high quality poster. And the final one here, let's take a look. Very nice. Okay, now I'll bring these around so you guys can take a look at them up close. 
First off, we have a Master Chief one, which I do think came out very well. I'm trying to show you an angle to where there's not a glare coming off of it. Then we have Sub-Zero, because I grew up playing the Mortal Kombat games and Sub-Zero was always my favorite. And then of course, the Dark Knight himself, Batman. For a lot of the comic, actually for all of the comic characters, I decided to go uh, not off like any movie adaptation of them. I decided to go straight from the actual comics that I read growing up. And then Isaac Clarke from Dead Space, one of my favorite video game franchises ever. And then we have Nightwing, who is one of my favorite DC characters ever. And of course, my favorite comic book character of all time, Spawn. My favorite movie of all time is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. So we have this really cool print of Clint Eastwood. It's not a uh, print from the poster, it's actually a painting that somebody did, which I think is absolutely stellar. I, abs I really like that one. And my favorite book of all time is the Dark Tower series, as if you're a fan of this channel, then you obviously know that. And what I did is I found uh, the Dark Tower. Uh, Marvel did a graphic novel version of it, and I just chose a picture of Roland Deschain that I absolutely loved. I'm really, really happy with this one here. And then finally, my favorite video game of all time is Final Fantasy VII. So we are getting a HD up res of Cloud Strife. So those are the eight posters. Now let's see how well they hang on the wall. Another thing I'll go ahead and show you is you can see that it's actually kind of pressured memory foam, but it's actually really thick and sturdy. And on the back, it's more thick press. It's not quite press board. It's a little bit thinner than press board. But as you can see, there are little adhesives where you just remove the uh, paper on the back and get the actual adhesive to work there. So I kind of have an idea or I want them each. So let's go ahead and start with the middle because the Dark Tower is the center of everything for me. We will remove the adhesive from the back. Comes off fairly easily. Moment of truth, let's see how well this sticks to the wall. I'm getting a pretty good tug and it's staying on there, so that makes me feel really positive about, you know, these not falling off in the middle of the night or anything like that. Sometimes these adhesives on the back, they want to take the whole uh, stick strip with it, so you just got to find the right angle on it to where it'll come off. I'm not happy with the placement. Like maybe I like spawn on the bottom right instead. I can move them around.
Helps if I take all the adhesives off the back instead of just one. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Let's remove the tape and uh, see what we've done. <laughs> So looking at it now, that is a purchase I am very, very happy with. It was definitely worth the money in my opinion. So if you have been curious about mixed tiles, this reviewer would definitely approve. So thank you everybody for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button down there. Check them in the top right corner and you'll see a little card icon that'll take you over to the store where we have t-shirts, coffee mugs, phone, tablet cases, all the great paraphernalia that you could ever ask for. If you feel like donating to this channel, we have fan funding as well as the Patreon campaign. We're going to catch you guys in the next video. So until next time, thank you so much Mixed Tiles for this amazing product. I really do approve. Catch you guys in the next video. Until then, Godspeed to 100,000 subscribers. Wow, i going. I wish you would have said Let's something. Let's go find <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> you just came in like a wrecking ball. I mean, to be fair, you need him in the face like 18 times. <laughs>